Hey guys, what's going on? I'll you with another video in this video today of explaining how it is exactly that you install LSPDFR. Uh, so I did a tutorial for this a while back, but since then it's actually been updated. Actually, just a few days ago, um, LSPDFR was updated. Now there's actually a much better, much easier way uh, to install the mod that I'm going to be showing you here. So it used to be uh, that you had to select and drag and drop a bunch of files from the download into your GTA 5 directory. Uh, and then you had to right click on all those files to go to properties and unblock the files and people had problems uh, and it wasn't really the best. But much like with uh, LCPDFR, which was kind of the same mod for GTA 4 if you don't remember that. Uh, you know, when it first came out in about 2009 or 2010... Uh, it was kind of the same thing where you had to select and drag and drop a bunch of things and then eventually after a few versions, after a few updates, uh, there was an automatic installer like there is now which just came out. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the link in the description, you're going to download LSPDFR from the LSPDFR website, you're going to get this RAR file here which you're going to go ahead and open up. Uh, inside there should be this setup file, you're going to want to double click on that, open that up, hit yes. That's going to load some data here and it should install this for you nice and easily. English, if your language is English. Uh, you read that, hit next, and then this agreement here, I'm sure everybody reads this in great detail. So you want to go through here, read that, if you agree, hit agree. Uh, then here you're going to want to select what you want to install. So obviously you want LSPD first response. Uh, the Rage plugin hook is what's needed to run the mod. Uh, then advanced hook 5 and ASI loader or some other things for loading mods. Doesn't hurt to install those. Uh, hit next. You're going to want to select where your, um, where your GTA 5 main folder is. So just find that and select it if it does not find it for you. Then you're going to want to hit next, it's going to install all that stuff, and then you're going to want to hit finish, launch LSPD first time configurator. Just give this a second, and here it is, so now instead of, you know, kind of adjusting numbers in some readme file, you can actually use this cool program here uh, to kind of custom tailor the mod uh, for what you like. So before you can do that, you're going to have to read and accept this uh, license agreement here. If you accept it, hit accept. Uh, then you're just going to kind of keep setting up this mod here. Change settings, we recommend disabling the version text rendering. So version text rendering, uh, I believe, is the text in the corner of the screen that just kind of says you're using a mod. Uh, you're using, uh, like, beta or alpha software or something like that. And setting all plugins to load at startup, which will just kind of load all your plugins for you so you don't have to do it manually. Uh, I think it does it for you anyway, at least it's set that way for me. Uh, so you'll just go ahead and hit do it for me if that's what you want to do. Uh, LSPDVR settings, so preload all models, I don't recommend you select that unless your computer, you know, kind of like they say here, has, um, trouble loading models. So if you pull up to a, uh, like a callout or something and the people are loading in or the cars load in or if you're having problems, uh, you might want to try that. But for most people with good computers, that's not really a problem. Uh, callouts multiplier, or if you want to get a crazy number of callouts, you can, you know, raise this number here. If you want to get less, you lower it and you get less. Uh, you can do what you want to do with that. You want to hit save. Uh, that's going to close out, and now you're good to go, so if you want to launch the mod, all you got to do is go to your GTA 5 folder. Alright, so I've navigated to my GTA 5 installation folder in here, you'll find this Rage Plugin Hook application. You're going to want to go ahead and double click on that, and it's going to open up. Alright, so now it's going to check and make sure you've got all these different things that you need installed. Uh, so I do, so it's going to do that, it's going to have them all checked off. And you'll come to the next step of the process here, where this box is going to open up. Uh, where you can change different settings. So for instance, I like to open up my uh, Rage Hook console with the F2 key. So that's the key I'm going to use for that. Plugins, uh, you want all your plugins to load up on startup. Everything else should probably be right. Uh, backup game version, that's probably a good thing to do uh, in case a new update comes out and you inadvertently install it. And this way you can kind of, you know, put it back easily without having to change a bunch of things by hand. Uh, so then you can just kind of save and launch from here. Now the thing's going to open up. Good thing to know for future use is this settings button right here. If you ever want to change any settings for Rage Plugin Hook, you can click that button right there. Uh, and then that will bring you to that settings menu. Now the game's going to load up and you should be good to go. Alright, so now the game's loaded up and all you're going to have to do is go on down to the police station. You can go on duty, so I'll go to the map here. Select the police station for my GPS and we'll just drive on down there. Alright, so now we're going to go on duty here. We're down here at the Mission Row Police Station. Now, this location is actually different for every police station. Uh, but you have to go to the spot where you want to go on duty. It's going to say press E to go on duty for this place. It's actually the locker room, which is a new feature of this version of LSPDFR. Uh, as well as the police garage. We'll go here back to the, uh, back to the locker room. I guess this is the place. We'll go over here, press E to go on duty. We'll push that. Now we can pick our, uh, our cop outfit. We'll just pick the first one for the purposes of time. Now it's going to let us go to the garage and pick our police car, which is also a new feature of this version of LSPDFR. Alright, so now we're out here at the police garage. It's just kind of out back. We're going to run up here. This door should open up for us real nice. 
Here we go, we're gonna go inside and press E to pick a vehicle from the police garage. If it lets us. All units. We have a Grand Theft Auto in Pillbox Hill. Alright, so now we're inside, kind of like before. We can just kind of cycle through our cars here. I guess we'll pick the, uh... I guess we'll pick that one. I don't know. Police... Police that. That car looks like a nice one. It's got nice lights. And now we're all good to go. Now you're a cop. You can basically drive around and do all your cop stuff. And other than that, that'll do it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to respond and uh, help you guys out. Now that there's an automatic installation, it should be a lot easier and it should solve a lot of the problems people are having. Uh, but yeah, from here, you just respond to call-outs, do your thing like I do in all of my videos, and you should be good to go. Uh, so that'll do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.